What's going on, Seaport? It's Pac-Man Jones of Savannah Seaport News. Man, and the internet has never failed me yet, man. There's so much craziness that's going on in Savannah about somebody snitching. And I was seeing this a lot on Facebook about, you know, paperwork and snitching. I was like, hold up, why everybody just talking about snitching and stuff? And uh, it comes out that paperwork has been released on a Savannah artist by the name of Dirty Money Slab. Uh, now, what people are really referring to when they're saying that him snitching and I kind of not kind of what I got a piece of paperwork that I'm going to show y'all that really has some information that's damaging towards this person now uh, they're saying that uh, now the whole situation evolves from a 2011 murder of a guy by the name of James L. Griffin uh, he died actually on July the 6th 2011 uh, but they caught the person like years later I believe they arrested 23-year-old Joshua Mincy on February the 23rd, 2017. Uh, he was the suspect in the assault that occurred on the 400 block of East 39th Street at around 3 a.m., like I said, on July the 6th, 2011. An uh, adult female victim reported the assault at Candler Hospital later that morning. Now, reportedly, Mincy and the victim engaged in a verbal altercation that turned physical. Griffin, who age was 32, was found suffering from a gunshot wound and was found slumped over the wheel of a vehicle in the 1700 block of Le Grand Street on July the 26th, 2011, leaving the victim with injuries. Now, he didn't actually initially die that day. He actually uh, died later at the hospital. Now, authorities say 23-year-old Yashua Mincy was arrested by Southeast Regional Fugitive Task Force Wednesday, March the 8th. They located Mincy at the barn office on the 4300 block of Ogeechee Road. So they actually caught this guy uh, last year. Now, I'm going to try to read the most I can off of this document as I'm showing you guys right here. I'm going to read for you guys because I know it's pretty small. But it was pretty much saying that uh, it starts off shot in the head. Diego Robbins, that's little, well, not Little Slab. Don't get this confused with Little Slab. Uh, little Slab and Dirty Money Slab are two different people. But uh, Diego Robbins, who is Dirty Money Slab explained that he heard about the incident from a from a male who was about 22 years old and came from off of 39th Street. Diego Robbins said that this male was about 22 years old and had odd name, something like Yusef. He advised that this male was brown skin and a black male and believed that this guy would tell us the entire story about the particular murder. Diego Robbins overheard this male talking about the murder the male stated that it was him and two other guys Diego Robbins believed one of the guys was locked up for murder the male stated that they called the victim over for something and they were supposed to rob him one of them got scared and shot the victim I asked Diego Robbins if this male said which guy shot the victim Diego Robbins only knew that it was one of the guys that is currently locked up Diego Robbins advised that he knew this male who had heard him talking about the incident was there. This male had called the shooter's name at the time Diego Robbins heard him talking about it. But Diego Robbins said he couldn't remember it. He knew that the shooter was currently locked up for either aggravated assault or murder. Oh, Diego Robbins stated that the shooter was short and kind of stalky. Diego Robbins couldn't remember who the male said called the victim over however he knew that the male who was off of 39th street knew the victim from off of 39th street Diego robbins advised that the male said that one of the guys got scared because the victim had money they were afraid that they did if they didn't kill him that the victim would put money on their heads for robbing them diego robbins stated that this male told him everything then left the interview room to complete photo arrays and, well, and then they both turned to the room and said, uh, looked at the photos and the auto recording that was uh, recorded. Dagger Robbins, the photographic lineup was showed to him. And uh, I'm trying to read more to you, all man, but it's just really small. I'm trying to like squint my eyes. But uh, pretty much they conducted a photo array, which included a photograph of Yashua Mincy, uh, the person that was alleged of killing the person uh and it says testified Joshua Mincy as the person who heard as the person who he heard talking about the murder of the guy of the red truck Diego Robbins circle dated and initialed the photo array 
And also, and it says in the photo array, which included photograph of Bashin Hills, aka Baba, uh, Diego Robbins testified Bashin Hills, aka Baba, as the shooter in the murder of the guy in the red truck, according to Yashua Mincy. Diego Robbins circled and dated the photo array. And this paperwork, man, it looks pretty real. I mean, one thing you got to understand about reading court documents, well, this is not actually a real court document. This is came from the Savannah Chatham Police Department report. One thing you got to understand about reading any document, you got to understand the narrative. Like, where's the dialogue coming from? And obviously, the dialogue is coming from a police detective and Diego Robbins. Now, I don't know what a lot of people are thinking. Well, is this fake? Could this been edited? I mean, it would be really hard for this to be a fake. And I say that because of there is not really too much grammatical errors and not only that but in the story like if somebody was like to fake this like if this was fake just imagine like how much time somebody would have spent to put a fake police report together have the, the energy and enough time to make a police report but you know also in that if somebody like if this was fake somebody would have had to did a lot of time like investigating in the murder of the person and not only the murder but uh, the whole situation uh so man it looks pretty pretty uh pretty spooky man this guy is uh allegedly snitching